بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو ندر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کامی مائکرو بیالوجسٹ ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گون ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ زائلوس لائسین ڈیوکسی چوکلیٹ ڈیوکسی چولیٹ ایگر میڈیم وی آلسو کالڈ ایڈ ایکس ایل ڈی میڈیم ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز لیکچر وی ٹاک ٹو ایکس ایل ٹی فور میڈیا زائلوس لائسین ٹرگیٹال میڈیم Okay, if you miss this video, let's just go back to my channel and watch this. In that video, if you guys remember, we just talked that this media is selective media for the isolation of Salmonella bacteria and Salmonella shigella. And this type of media inhibit the growth of gram-positive as well as gram-negative bacteria as well due to the addition of uh, targetol, uh, what we can say, supplement. But in this case, the same thing are not used. So what is xylose lysine deoxycholate medium? So let's talk about that. Now let's talk with introduction that what is xylose lysine deoxycholate agar medium or XLD medium. This medium is actually selective medium, okay, which is first discovered by a scientist named Tyler and this scientist used this bacteria for the isolation of Shigella from stool specimen, okay. Now if we talked about the uses of this medium, so this media is specially used for the isolation of gram-negative enteric pathogens, which is Pseudomonas, E. coli, Klebsiella from clinical and fecal samples okay scientists also use this media for the testing of food water and dairy products then we have the composition of this media that how we can use this media this media contain <coughs> different types of the ingredient like sodium deoxycholate which is 1.6 gram for 1 liter yeast extract 3 gram for 1 liter lysine l lysine and nacl both are needed 10 gram means 5 gram nacl and 5 gram lysine then we have xylose 3.75 gram for 1 liter lactose and sucrose both needed for 15 gram means 7.5 gram lactose and sucrose 7.5 grams sucrose agar we need 15 gram for 1 liter uh, ferric ammonium citrate 0 0.8 gram for 1 liter then we have a sodium thiosulfate uh, 6.8 gram for 1 liter and obviously we need distilled water which mix all these ingredients now let's talk about the principle of this uh, media means what are the function of the ingredient which is present in this medium this medium contain yeast extract and we already talked that yeast extract is specially uh, you know needed for the uh, providing nutrients and vitamins now when bacteria take up the nutrients and vitamins due to this way the bacteria will divide it and grow then we have sodium deoxycholate which is specially need to inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria that's why it is just used for the gram negative bacteria then you know we have xylose so when the xylose is fermented so then enteric bacteria will be easily seen but Shigella do not ferment the xylose due to which we get reddish colony of the Salmonella. Then we have sodium thiosulfate and ferric ammonium which serve as an indicator for what hydrogen sulfide. So when the sugar is fermented so we get hydrogen sulfide which is actually detected by sodium thiosulfate and ferric ammonium during alkaline aerobic condition. Then we have xylose, lactose and sucrose. So remember guys, when these carbohydrates, these are actually carbohydrates, when these carbohydrates are fermented, so what happened? Acid is produced. Due to this way, the phenol red indicator turned into yellow. Then we have NaCl which can maintain the osmotic balance, means uh, they can uptake the nutrient which is present outside the cell and the material which can harm the cell will be released out. Then we have agar which acting as a solidifying agent 
that provide a stable surface for bacteria to by which the bacteria will produce colonies we have distal water through which the ingredient can easily be mixed now how we can prepare this media just like in the previous videos we talked that we specially need the bottle if the bottle is not available so then we will mix what ingredient so now take the bottle and weight 55 gram of the ingredient and mix it into one liter. after that uh, we will heat mix it and boil now after that we do not autoclave it okay if we autoclave so then all the ingredient will be disturbed because these ingredients are really sensitive then after heat mixing and boiling so then we will cool down it at 50 degrees celsius and then we will pour it into sterilized pitcher plate after the solidification of this meter so then we will streak and then we will uh, you know uh, incubate it uh, for 24 hour after 24 hour examination we will check the colony morphology then what type of the of bacteria we get in this media so remember guys this media is specially used specially used for the salmonella and shigella bacteria isolation but still we can also use it for e coli and escape pathogen as well in escape pathogen the step aureus is not growing but the remaining bacteria can easily be grow now let's talk about that how e coli will be look like uh, on this media so e coli produce large yellow colonies pseudomonas produce pink red colonies and tyrobacter produce yellow small colonies so if you see e coli have also yellow colonies but and when we compare it so enterobacter have small colonies yellow small colonies okay salmonella have red colonies with black center Klebsiella have yellow remember guys in this case Klebsiella have yellow but the colony will be mucoid not just like e coli and uh, enterobacter we have proteus volgrares uh, which is red to yellow colonies with black centers uh, as uh, salmonella have may also uh, red uh, you know uh, black center but in this case the color is uh, red but in this case color red yellow okay so remember guys then we have uh, bomonai a bomonai which can produce colorless colonies gram positive bacteria will have no growth on this media due to the presence of deoxycholate then we have shigella which can produce red colonies so let me show all these bacterial colonies through diagram so as you can see these are the bacterial colonies uh, now as you can see th this is the colonies of salmonella shigella these are salmonella typhurium black colonies equally have these yellow colonies yellow colonies with black center have proteus clepsella pneumonia have mucoid so this these one colony as you can see these are the mucoid colonies uh, pseudomonas pinkish colony as you can see so that's all about the xld media i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching